Well, it's back to work for MPs who finally get back to work following a six-week break. Slower than expected economic growth is among the top items being discussed as the parliament resumes. Our Brigitte Pellerin is live in the Capitol, ready to break it all down mm -hmm. first. Good morning. Good morning to you. I forgot my Apple. I'm sorry. I was so negligent. You know, you bring a nice, shiny <laughs> yes. new Apple. I could have been busy. Oh, I forgot. Uh, dear me, uh, I hope they will forgive me after six weeks. Yeah, you're right, of a Christmas break, during which I would like to point out they're not just sitting on their couch doing nothing. MPs are actually quite busy with constituency, um, you know, issues and and files and meeting people. And uh, they, they keep themselves quite busy. Uh, but nevertheless, they are not sitting in Parliament. Now they resume sitting in Parliament today. We will get an update on what the conservatives want to achieve by uh, their House leader, Peter Van Loan, at 9.30 as a presser, which we will uh, be covering live for you. But I can uh, tell you right away, it's not much of a scoop, that the priority for the government will be the economy, the economy, and the economy. This is what Stephen Harper's government has been doing now since they came to power, was focused on job creation, economic development, and free trade. And we can expect to hear more about this in the session that will start today. Um, you can hear about, you will hear about jobs and how to create more jobs. You will hear a lot about the fact that so far since the recovery, um, the Canada has created about 920. I think is the latest number, 920,000 new jobs. You will hear more about this. International trade will be a big one too. The partnership, the uh, free trade with uh, the European Union and also with Asian countries, the uh, Trans-Pacific Partnership. Keystone Excel will be also a topic of discussion along with border issues, not just the new bridge, but also ways to work with the United States government to make the border secure yet quickly, uh, quick enough so that uh, people and, and goods can move uh, quickly, efficiently, but securely between the two countries. Mm -hmm. uh, what else will we be talking about? I would, I would assume that the issue with the I don't know more, mm -hmm. the native issues uh, spent all also on the uh, top of the agenda. Absolutely. And as uh, Brian Dunson, I believe, will be telling us more about that in a minute. But there are some more protests planned for today. I don't know. More Aboriginal issues will certainly be one of the big mm. ticket items to make an appearance. We have uh, Romeo Sagan as the NDP MP who will present a private member's bill to implement the UN Declaration of Indi the Rights for Indigenous Peoples. Uh, he will present that. I think we, uh, later today we'll also have a press conference by him to explain what he uh, tries to accomplish with that. Uh, you also have issues like Mali, Syria, Egypt mm -hmm. right now. Now, we just heard very early this morning our embassy in Cairo has been closed for today, uh, perhaps even a bit longer, who knows, due to the you know increasingly dangerous security situation in that country. Uh, so the issues of foreign affairs and uh, terrorism will uh, intrude in the proceedings uh, whether they want to or not. Yeah, it'll be a busy session. All right. Mm. Thank you. All right. Thank you.